I have never been this nervous for a project before, and that's partly because if it doesn't go well, then I'll have spent a week in misery, and if it goes well, then I'll have pretty fundamentally changed my brain. So, so here we go. I'm gonna open this box. Oh my god. These are upside down goggles. They flip everything you see to be upside down, and I'm gonna try to wear them for seven days. Okay, this is my first time trying them on. Uh, oh god, here we go. Oh man. Oh my god. This is gonna be difficult. Am I looking at the camera right now? No. Not even a little bit, right? No, you're looking at your hands. Okay, right? okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna try to pour water from one cup into the other. Ugh. I'm doing it! No, no. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I had it! I had it though! Whenever I tilt my head up, things scroll downward in a way that is like kind of nauseating. Curtis! <laughs> this is supposed to say my, my name. I can't even. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go for the U now. This is this is the this is the U. Where is it? There it is. Okay. This is my name apparently. This one here is a bicycle. <laughs> okay. This is my friend Dom. He is a YouTuber with a PhD in quantum physics. He's really smart, and here he is demonstrating that it's not just me. Using these goggles makes things really hard. <laughs> did I do good? <laughs> How did you function? And I want to try to get you to write your name. Oh god. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dom from Domain of <laughs> Science. Uh, link in the description below if you want to check out my stuff. Okay, I want to show you what it's like to have these goggles on. With them, the world is flipped vertically. And that actually looks very different than if everything is just rotated 180 degrees. Look at the font. Also, the field of view is super narrow, so you basically have to point your head directly at whatever you want to see. It makes things hard. Add in that I normally wear reading glasses, and this was extra hard for me. But anyway, back to day one. I'm gonna be wearing them for seven days. I'm just gonna make them a little more comfortable. I can't even see you and my hands. The, na the window's really narrow. This is like, this is my whole field of vision right now. So this is Destin from Smart Every Day. He made this bicycle that when you turn the handlebars to the right, the wheel turns to the left. No one could ride it uh, because it was a backwards bicycle. And then he trained his brain to ride it. And then he couldn't ride a normal bicycle after that. Um, so I thought it would be really cool to not only try and do the world upside down, but to actually try and ride a bicycle upside down. So that's the goal for this week. It's probably going to be painful. I'm going to wear a helmet and I'm hoping that by day seven, I'll actually be able to ride a bike upside down. That's the goal. And this is day one. It's been about an hour and a half. I'm going to try to ride a bike. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Back up and try to get to me again. This way? No. Oh no, very no. I feel really nauseous and a little bit headachy, and it's only been a couple hours. Um, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna sit down for a bit. So my rule is that as long as my eyes are open, I have the goggles on, but I sleep with a mask so that I can actually sleep. We're gonna get really good at, at, at picking these up. <laughs> okay. Uh, no problems. This is day two. If I can just gonna look at you. Just gonna walk straight to you. There we go! Day three.
I had to mount them to this hat so that they would take some of the weight off of my, the bridge of my nose. Upside down, turn it around, it's a montage. <laughs> Upside down, turn it around, it's a montage. Upside down. I can ride a bike, I can ride a bike. There's now only 24 hours left to this experiment and then I get to take these goggles off my face. I am so excited to do that. Despite my pretty limited field of view, I can navigate the world pretty normally at this point. By day three, I started to have these really strange moments where everything would seem completely normal. And then I would look at my hands, but they would be appearing to come down from the sky and it felt like they weren't my hands, and it would make me instantly nauseous. And those moments continued to happen, but the strangeness of them became less and less extreme. At first, it was actually nauseating, but over time, it just became no big deal. By day seven, it just became normal. I thought there would be a moment in which things flipped, but that never really happened. It just happened slowly over the course of seven long days. I wanna say a huge thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. I don't have YouTube ads enabled on this channel, so their support, your support means a lot. Uh, if you like this video and wanna see more weird projects like it, this is what I do, so subscribe if you're into that. I'm gonna focus on biking. <laughs> Day seven, let's try this again. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna write this one. I think that's actually pretty close. It's a bicycle. I have had these on for seven long days and I'm finally going to take them off. I am so excited to do this. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take me to adjust to the normal world again, but we're about to find out. Here we go. Oh my God. Whoa, this is... Firstly, okay, moving my head, it's like the same thing I experienced on day one. I can use my hands no mostly normally. I have this like weird, wow, <laughs> things are kind of blurring. Uh, and I think, wow, this is, this is amazing. This is exactly what I experienced when I put them on, which means that my brain literally flipped the world upside down. That is really cool. It's a little nauseating as well. <laughs> okay, just as when I put them on, I'm gonna try pouring this. And it feels weird to be doing this, but it works fine. Like I can, I can navigate normally. Just everything feels just as how it did when I put them on in the first day. <sighs> this is so bizarre. I am Curtis Dowdy. I haven't forgotten how to do things. I just feel so dizzy and quite a bit nauseous. Because again, the world, 
I mean, it's not upside down. I wanted to say the world is upside down. I feel like the world literally just flipped for me. It only took me about two hours to completely readjust to the world being upright again, compared with two full days of nausea when I put the goggles on in the first place. So I was really glad about that. But if this whole upside down world thing seems a bit too extreme, it's not, because you've actually already done it without even knowing it. When you were a baby, the world was upside down because your eyes are pinhole cameras. I've got a whole video where I built a digital camera in order to explain what that's all about, so if you're wondering what I'm saying, just go and check that out. Your baby brain figured out how to make the world feel upright for you, and that was possible because of a remarkable thing called neuroplasticity. Your brain can change. And that's cool not because of what it means for some weird thing with goggles, but because of what it means for your entire life. I used to think that I was not a math person, and then I realized that I could literally change the wiring of my brain. And then I knew that I was only bad at math because I hadn't wired my brain to be good at it yet. Your brain adapts to whatever gets thrown at it. You can reinforce bad behaviors and addictive habits, or you can reinforce good behaviors and learn things and build a healthy brain. It's up to you. Either way, I hope you make the most of it, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, know that subscribing to this channel will add a single drop of water to one of these two plants, and that's all that's keeping them alive. Um, but you know, like, no pressure. Uh, it's not like a, a ransom or anything, so, you know. Um, I mean, you, you, you decide.